question that I've been getting from quite a few of my constituents right now is, um, and you had mentioned it earlier, was the drug testing. Um, with cannabis legalization being something that's debated currently, a lot of the employers in my district are wondering right now basically how they're going to handle that if it were to um, happen because they're struggling right now with quite a few are uh, failing their tests because of opioids, but a great number are failing because of cannabis specifically. And I just wanted to see if the panel had something um, that would be able to kind of give a best practices or, or what your thoughts are moving forward if that's something that becomes a reality. I can bet. We, we actually did a survey. This was back in, oh, 2012. It was bef I mean, it was before we really knew how bad the opioid crisis really was. It was kind of on the beginning of that. Um, it was actually shortly after uh, then-Governor Corbett made the, the statement about, um, you know, one of the reasons that unemployment is high is because of the inability to pass a drug test. And we surveyed just in the manufacturing um, field. So, I mean, the manufacturing field, you have to, I mean... I would think that there's probably other sectors that are more impacted than others. I wouldn't necessarily think that manufacturing would be one of the highest. Here's the issue with data surrounding that and what we tried to capture. What we, think, what we are estimating is that one in three new hires were actually impacted by the drug test, not because they failed, but because they don't show up for the drug test. The major issue is that oftentimes the drug test is a condition of employment. So you finish your interview on Thursday, they say, okay, you need to come back tomorrow, we're gonna take your photo ID badge, you're gonna do your drug test, and then you're gonna start on Monday. They don't come back on Friday. They just disappear. Um, and that's what we were trying to capture in our survey. Um, I mean, when you look, it's only like you know one in seven or, or, or one in eight that actually fail the drug test, but the problem is those that don't come back. Um, in, in looking at the legalization of marijuana, one of the issues for employers is the liability. Um, I mean, if there's an accident on I mean, a manufacturing facility, you've got bladed instruments, um, very hot temperatures, high, high voltage, um, and, and some really, really dangerous machines. Um, for as, as much as manufacturing is not dark, dirty, and dangerous, there are some high, highly, highly, highly powered tools um, that, these, that these folks use. And um, if the, the workforce is not so, if there's an accident, the first thing that's going to happen is that that employee is going to be drug tested. And if that drug test has failed, the employer is going to be liable. There's probably, I mean, it's, and it's going to be a, a real uphill climb for that firm to survive. Um, so as we, you know, talk about the legalization of, of, of ex or the expanded legalization of drugs, that is something that we do def definitely need to consider. I mean, that could be a, a whole nother hearing for another day, um, but it, that is something that we need to, to definitely consider. 